Hello, welcome to this demo on the explicit analysis of a roll cage. Part one will focus on geometry preparation and part two will focus on setting up the model. To begin, let's look in space claim to see how the geometry was prepared for this model. Once inside space claim, I can see my imported step file here has been brought in as a solid geometry. This frame came courtesy of the RIT Baja team, and they did me the favor of combining all the tubes into one single solid. If your frame needs to be stitched together, you can use the combine tool in order to merge all the tubes into one complete body. In order to simplify the analysis and increase the efficiency of the solver, we are going to use shell elements for the mesh. In order to incorporate these, we need to give ANSYS a surface body. In order to extract a surface body from this solid tube set, I'd like to grab all the exterior surfaces in my model and copy them over to a new surface. I can do these one by one, selecting the exterior surface and copying and pasting them, or to increase efficiency, I can use the selection tab, search all bodies, select a given exterior face, and find an equal radius protrusion, and select all the tubes with an equal radius, copy and paste, and then I can see a great number of the surfaces created in one step. Once all those surfaces are generated, I can again use the combine tool to stitch all of them together. In the end, I can arrive at this final model where it's just all the exterior faces of the tubes. Now when they're all the same body, the same thickness is applied throughout the model. I'm doing that for simplicity here, but if all your tubes are different thicknesses, you'd want to make sure that there are different surface bodies for each of those specific thicknesses. Before we bring the model into mechanical to set up the analysis, sometimes it's important to add additional geometry features in space claim. Importantly, in this analysis, we're going to add supports for the seatbelt region because we'd like to add a point mass to represent the driver. In this case, we can split this surface body in order to give us a selectable region where the seatbelt tabs may be in the car. So here I've created two planes using the plane tool and I want to split this tube down here because that's where I know the seatbelt is attached. So I can come up here to split. I'll first select my face to split and then my cutter face being this plane. And I can repeat that process for the remaining section. I'm going to hit escape to exit out of the tool. And now I can see this tube down here is split so I can select this outer face to attach my point mass. And I'll repeat that for the remaining three seatbelt connections. The final geometry object we want to create before moving to mechanical would be the plane or surface that the frame is going to impact. To create this body here, I went in and created a plane at the location where I wanted the surface to sit, and then used the sketch mode to simply draw a closed form rectangle in that plane and return to 3D, and Space Claim will automatically close that surface for you and create the body in your geometry tree. Once I'm satisfied with the geometry for the model, I can see it's finally updated here in the geometry object. And to create this shared link to a Workbench LS Dyna object, I can come into my toolbox, select Workbench LS Dyna, and drag it onto geometry. And I'll see that link created to a new model. The final parameters to set before entering mechanical would be the engineering data 
and materials. So I'm double clicking here on engineering data and that will bring up our current materials in library and their properties. In this analysis I'd like to model some plasticity within the material. So with the general structural steel I can add a bilinear isotropic hardening object by double clicking and I can input a yield strength of 30 KSI and after that yield strength is reached my new tangent modulus will be 10 KSI. Once the material definition is complete we can return to the project tab and now we are ready to enter the modeling tab and complete the model setup and look at some results in part two.